Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. We have the Hierophant, Taurus. Queen of Pentacles reversed. I feel some sort of a flip in the power dynamic. I don't know if, um, I mean, it could be a very practical situation, like they were your boss or you were their boss or so, you know something like that. But I feel more like with um, maybe wisdom or intuition or understanding perhaps about either yourselves or this specific connection or life in general. I don't know. Maybe this person originally seemed to you to be very wise, very informed, very inspiring. But over time, it's almost like something has flipped and you've become the one who has maybe like a greater degree of knowledge or understanding about something so maybe you've literally been researching into something maybe you've been very reflective i don't know just that's interesting okay what else three of pentacles and um, we have judgment in the reverse I feel you could have um, had lots of readings on this person, whether we're talking about personal readings or, um, yeah, I think maybe personal. I mean, for sure, watching on YouTube and that sort of thing, but I feel there's like a higher degree of investment that's happened, whether it's been tarot readings or channel read, I don't know, could have been anything, but I feel maybe like you've really gone in on this. I wonder if that's where the wisdom comes in. Maybe you do your own readings or something like that and you've been really learning you know, more and more and more and more about sort of tarot, spirituality, divine connections, all of that, because we can always be learning more, you know? Um, so maybe you started, at, uh, I don't know, at the same level as this person at one point, or you were able to have these like um, conversations where you both knew a similar amount and you've advanced in this. Um, maybe it became more interesting to you than them or something. Yeah, okay, five of cups. Um, what's this? Six of wands. Um, one thing I will say, Aquarius, is it looks to me like this person you're you're here for could be in some sort of other commitment. They've signed some kind of contract, whether it's they're in another relationship, marriage, um, something to do with work, um, or they're working on a project with someone, but they're not happy, they're not satisfied. I think if they could go back and undo this, they would one of the, th the reasons they might be continuing with this because i'm hearing someone say we'll leave then you know <laughs> and i agree with you but one of the reasons they could be continuing is to do with pride ego how things look um and i don't think this is someone who's like really super shallow and they just want attention not that kind of pride and ego but maybe because of how they were raised they were led to believe that success looks a certain way and they only feel successful and good within themselves and valid and worthy if they have success in whatever this particular way is. So it's really tied into their self-concept, self-esteem, you know, it's not just a, a superficial thing. Or maybe they were told like you don't back out of commitments no matter what or something like that. Okay, let's see. We have the, yeah, the Emperor. We've got Aries here, but, you know, Emperor, Three of Coins. I don't know, maybe they're very work-focused. Um, so whether I'm looking at a work situation um, or, like, a, a relationship, whether it's with family or friends that you, that you maybe don't think that much of and they don't either, really, or um, a, a karmic or a spouse or something, it's work. It's all work. Whatever we're talking about, whatever this person's focusing on, for them it's work because emotionally it's not doing it. Did I say we have Scorpio here with judgment? Um, judgment reversed. It's like they're on the precipice of making a big change, but it would change their lives, their life completely. <clears throat> we have the Page of Cups. Wow. You know, this, I don't know if this person's not a big communicator because that came through at the start or communication to them is very, very precious. Like maybe they realize the impact of words, so they use them sparingly. But this is someone who's saying, if, well, first of all, they want to message you, but in like, um, not in this, I am the emperor, I'm messaging you about something professional or practical or whatever. Page of Cups, I am showing you 
what people don't get to see. I'm, I'm showing you how I feel, I'm showing you my heart, I'm telling you about my dreams, I'm showing you my vulnerabilities, my insecurities, I want you to know I think about you at 2am, you know, that kind of a message. And they're saying, if I send you that, it could change everything. But they are, this is what they're, they're deliberating on, should I, shouldn't I? They absolutely want to, but there is something, there's a powerful hold that something around the physical 3D realm uh, has on them, you know, and their relationship to it, how they perceive this, how that makes them perceive themselves. For example, the emperor, I am self-employed or I am a manager or the boss or the CEO. I, I've come to despise my job. It's just a burden now. But if I'm not the CEO or the manager or whatever it is anymore, who am I? I am I worthy? I wonder if this person needs to, you know, sort of work on their self-concept and find other things about themselves that are worthy and realise they are not just their job. Um, <clears throat> this also strikes me as someone who, this obviously won't be for all of you, but even just like a, a, a sort of personality, this seems like someone who could get to retirement age and keep working because the thought of not doing whatever they do for their work or career is terrifying because what else are they going to do? Who else would they be without it? So they just keep going. Or if this person has reached retirement age already, they might have, have sort of gone beyond and you're noticing they're still working and you're thinking, why are you relax a bit, you know? Um, why are you working just as hard as you always have? When are you going to slow down? Or when are you going to stop? When are you going to do other things that, that you now have time to do? Okay, so let's have a little bit more of a look then. I think, first of all, I want to go in and look at the Six of Wands and understand a bit more about, you know, the physical, the 3D, what does it mean to this person? How do they connect with it? Well, first of all, yes, we know it's a burden, Ten of Wands. But then we have the Sun, Leo Energy. Um, I mean, the Sun can be abundance, and in a most practical sense, yes, this person... Um, wants maybe to, to have a good life or to, to wow, words, to continue having a good life, um, to provide for themselves, maybe family. But there's something about, you know, I mean, this is a, a bright sun. It's making me think of the sun. It's midday. Um, there are no clouds and it's summer. It's really bright. So everything is illuminated. I just feel this person gets too much validation from their you know 3d successes um and it doesn't just have to be work it could be they feel like if they don't go to the gym every day for five hours you know um they're not worthy um i don't know whatever it is it's almost they they think it's healthy they think it's obvious like well doesn't everyone feel this way and, and everyone does to an extent because of you know the societies that we live in but they've taken it a bit too far um i don't know okay i do want to keep repeating myself so let's have a look at this page of cups the moon reverse pisces yeah you see they want to break this no contact no communication um, but it would mean facing a fear. I do actually think this person does think about you at night. Ten of Swords reverse. Maybe things weren't left in the best way. They might even feel guilty about this. Yeah, Knight of Swords reverse. They're desperate to speak. Maybe even offer up an apology. That That's what this page of um, cups can be as well. Okay, well, let's see what their messages are then. What would this person like to say to Aquarius, please? I'm very sick, or someone close to me is. I don't want to burden you with the situation, so I'm just taking care of it right now. And that that could be very literal. But do you know what I feel? I felt it earlier, but I was looking and I couldn't really see cards to confirm it. I feel this person's a caretaker. I don't know if they, they do a job that, where people come to them and they give advice or they take care of people. Um or just in life, if they, because we've got an emperor, no empress, if they are always the one that takes care of things. And 
it's come to the point where that's formed a massive part of their identity. So if they step back from this, they might feel useless or again, something about like, I'm not worthy now because I'm not running around making sure everybody else is okay. For some of you, this could quite literally be like a doctor patient relationship. And that's why they're, they're saying with judgment reversed, I don't know, I don't know about sending this message. It would change everything. Or, you know, if it's not doctor patient, it could be just like a client professional relationship thing. Okay, we have, I mean, oh my gosh, I'm in the middle of a legal matter. I feel would be affected by me contacting you or would affect you adversely to get involved with. I'll reach out when I feel it's okay to do so. Yeah, for some of you, there's like um, something around legalities or a signed contract or um, maybe like an unspoken rule that they feel, well, maybe I shouldn't send this message. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I know this must bother you, but I plan to include you in my life and take this to the next level as soon as I can. Please just trust me and give me more time. Okay, wow. So maybe there's some you know, practical change they need to make so they can reach out. Um, and they've got to go through this. I know it's judgment, but I almost feel like it would bring in a tower moment. Maybe they've got to do that first and then send this message. I wish you knew just how special you are to me. It kills me um, not to be able to tell you. And I feel that with this reverse Knight of Swords. They're just bursting at the seams. You amaze me with your compassion and kindness through this time apart. I promise I'll make this up to you. Okay. Um, let's see. What else would this person say to you, Aquarius, please? I'm hearing again, this person dreams about you like they daydream, they fantasize. I'm hearing someone ask, what do they fantasize about? <laughs> My feeling is um, everything, everything. The routines you would build together, the life you would have, they probably fantasize about you in like a passionate way as well. We have self-love, I am still trying to heal, yeah. And I would add to that and say, I'm still trying to find myself. I'm still trying to um, ground my identity around things other than whatever this predominant thing is where they seem to be caring for other people. Um, conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice. See, that's interesting. It's not I want to phone you and chat or share my news with you. It's like phoning you up, saying hello and then just listening. I think this person is a listener. Um, again, I don't know if they feel awkward with words or they understand that words can have real impact and they're overly cautious around things they say. Especially if this is someone who's in like a leadership position. Uh, I don't know, they could do public speaking or it could be that they know anything they put down in writing could be used against them. I don't, not that you're going to do this, but maybe whatever profession they're in, and I'm looking at the word legal here, and it's just something that's habitual to them. Be careful with words. It's not because they don't trust you. It's just like this, you know, that's just what they're used to, and they would need to almost soften and reprogram their thoughts a bit around that. Um, okay. We have irreplaceable, the way you love can never be matched. So you may have been very generous, like a queen of cups with this person. They may have come across as more selfish. Um, soul tie, I always feel connected to you. Okay, so let's finish up with a couple of cards of guidance and advice for Aquarius. We have manifested, okay, great. So it's possible to create change here through pure focused intention. We have, oh, the universe says yes, very nice. Okay, and let's get one more. No, this one. <laughs> Forget it. Okay, so I feel like this is manifest it, believe that the universe is on the case, will grant you your wish and then release it. So, you know, don't sort of stress it and, and worry about it. Okay, so I will leave this here. Thank you, Aquarius, for watching. I hope it resonated and I'll see you soon. Bye.